Um, let's now start with our topic today. Um, we are, I think we already finished with opening a call, right? We had uh, been able to um, to practice how to spell, yeah, important information and how to use numbers in a context, I mean, in a, in a situation in which we are having a phone call. So today, we are now going to talk about how to receive and take messages from a phone call, okay? So usually, for uh, people on the switchboard, okay, we usually leave a message for them to, you know, to just write on a piece of note so that the person who will be receiving the message will know or will be notified about the person who called them. Okay, so the switchboard usually say, for example, if they're asking for name or address, they will just simply say, can I have your name again? Can you spell that for me? So, of course, we have the word spell. Spell means you have to, yeah, A for alpha, B for beta, I mean, B for bravo, mm -hmm. something like that, okay? And another, can I have your phone number? If they're asking for phone number, typically they will ask, can I have your phone number? What's your area or country code? Remember, we have country code or area code. So for example, in China, what is the country code for China? Uh, like a six and zero zero eight six. Uh, zero zero eight six. Okay. Here in the Philippines, it is zero zero six three. That's the mm -hmm. country code here. Okay. So you 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 have to learn how to identify area codes as well, because you know some people get confused which one is the area code, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one. Okay. So we also have here noting and responding okay so when you are when someone is taking a down notes of your answers they will just simply say okay um please give me a moment i'd better write this down okay um let me um yeah just a moment okay ready uh let me get a pen okay go ahead okay something like that okay so Especially if they, if you are not ready, you don't have pen, you don't have paper, you don't have pencil, okay? Mm -hmm. You have to say that, ah, oh, excuse me, can I get a pen and paper, please? Can I, can you hold on for a moment so that I can prepare some, 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 something to write on? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there. So that is uh, actually a way for us to, yeah, to politely say that, uh, we have to write something, okay? Because, you know, sometimes people say, ah, oh, I have their phone number here. Okay, please, stop. Then they go and get paper. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh -huh. what? Like that. It sounds bad, right? So you can just simply say, um, excuse me, can I go and get some pen first? Because I am not prepared. Okay, so yeah. You can, uh, you can politely ask them, can you give me a minute? Can you give me a moment to find something to write on? Yeah, so there. So, next one. Checking or, yeah, checking. So, sometimes we are not sure about the information that we got. So, we have to ask them to check the information for us. For example, could you go over that again, please? What does it mean by this, go over? Repeat. Repeat, right? Go over or check or repeat, right? Let me repeat that for you. Should I read that back just to check? So these these uh, phrases, they just actually have the same meaning, right? So should I read that back just to check? Let me just repeat that for you. Let Could you go over that again, please? So there. Okay. So that's how we check if we got the correct info or not. Uh, All right. Uh, mm -hmm. I beg your pardon? Mm -hmm. So that is how we go and check if we got the correct info. Info is information. Okay, okay info um, or not. Okay? Okay. All right, so next one. If you say that, um, yeah, if you want to make the person ass be assured, okay, to, to say, it's okay, don't worry, 
So we say, I'll make sure she gets the message. So here, we are actually giving them uh, assurance, like, please, please, please do this for me. I'm asking you a big favor. Please help me reach out to her or to him. So in this way, um, we can just simply say, I'll make sure she gets the message. So we have the phrase, make sure. I'll tell him you called. I'll get him to call you as soon as, okay, as soon as he gets back to the office. So why do we need to do this? Why do we need to say this? I mean, um, like, um, to show, to make him feel like, feel like mm, relief that we uh -huh. will, we will transmit tra tra this message to the one, and we will uh -huh. make him to and to get you back. Uh -huh. So, that's true and then 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 he ha, ha, don't need to wait for a long time uh, exactly so yes we we actually say that uh, you know to say that um don't worry to uh, to offer that uh, to say to them that ah it's okay everything is okay you don't have to worry mm -hmm. uh, we will call them for you so there mm -hmm. okay so this is just a show of respect or politeness to the person who called because maybe maybe for them it's not that yeah maybe for them it's very important it's very urgent for them to get mm -hmm. hold of the person so we have to give them a small piece of assurance that okay don't worry we will contact them for you okay mm -hmm. All right, so that is for the switchboard. Now, if you are have if you have the caller, I mean, if you if you are now calling someone, okay, ahead or, or I mean over the phone, okay, you can use these phrases as well. So, for example, someone will say, "Can I leave a message?" or the person you're talking to wants to leave a message, they will say, "Can I leave a message?" And usually, we request that, "Could you?" Okay, could you tell him I called? So the most polite way to use to say is could you? Okay, and of course using the word please. Because if you're going to use the word please, we are asking them a favor, right? So could you tell him or her that I called? Could you ask her to call me back? So please, please tell him that I that I'll call back okay so when we are asking a favor we should always use this phone the, i mean this uh, phrases okay so it's not good if you say tell him i called okay uh, uh, tell her to call me back okay uh, tell him that uh, i will call later okay like that so it sounds rude right it doesn't hurt if we if we also say some words like please could you do this for me thank you so much right so the key here is always say please and always say thank you and always use respectful tone or approaches when you are asking or when you are actually requesting um yeah something to happen okay, okay. so there next one spelling okay this is something that we did yeah last thursday the spelling you say how do you what is your name again yeah my name is Dignan should I spell that for you so you should also ask if uh, you have to spell your name because maybe they there's no need anymore or maybe they need it so you can just simply say yeah could I spell that for you sure my name is D for Delta, I for India, G for uh, Grace, N for Nancy, E for Echo, N for Nancy. Dignan, that's my name. Okay. Or, my name is Jir, G for Guitar, E for Echo, R for Romeo, E for Echo. So there. Okay, so that is how we actually, okay, that is how we actually uh, propose or how to, how do we spell our names to someone who called okay 
All right, next one. For phone numbers, okay, like what I said, what can you remember when we are talking about phone numbers? Mm -hmm. Who divided, divided them like um, into three digits. Okay, exactly. We should divide everything by three digits, right? So we can say 0, 0, 1, 3, 7, 9, 4, 2, 8, 6, 3. So we are actually divided, uh, you know, we divided all numbers by 3, right? Okay. So when we are giving a reply as well, we say, oh, of course, okay, please, yes, that's right, please, all right, exactly. So we can also use other words. Um, try to avoid saying, uh-huh, 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 uh -huh, because it's very confusing, right? For example, did you eat breakfast? Uh-huh, 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 like, what? Well, you can just simply say yes or no. Hmm? Like in the movie, like in the movie, the actors and the actors are always pronounced and like that. Yeah, of course, in the movie, because they are calling with, uh, you know, with their friends, probably. Mm -hmm. But, well, you know, when we are talking to someone over the phone and they are businessmen, and most probably they are not the same nationality as we have, as we have. For example, mm -hmm. they are Europeans, they are Americans, they are British, and... They might get confused with the way we say aha uh -huh and na -uh, ah because there are some countries that if you say aha uh -huh, it means no. Okay. It's the opposite. So just okay. you have to clearly guide them. You have to clearly respond, I mean, by saying yes or no properly. Okay, to their questions. Right? Okay. So yeah, that's that's the point. <laughs> Okay, next one. Okay, so, of course, something that we also have to uh, make note and we should never forget is to say thank you. So we can simply say, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm really glad for, yeah, that you helped me. Okay, something like that. So we can also use those words to, you know, to show our appreciation to someone who help us okay in our in our um, you know in our task or mm -hmm. someone who help us get hold of some people right yes. yeah so that's why so thank you so much could uh, could i just have your name so that i can properly thank you some people say that oh uh, before you go can i get your name please ah uh, my name is teacher romel oh teacher romel okay thank you so much teacher romel for helping me i'll make sure that i would recommend you to him i would ask him that i will say i would say to him that you're a good person you you helped me a lot today i will really appreciate it uh, Teacher Romel, I will remember your name. When, once I go to your company, I will make sure to bring a coffee for you. So, yeah, people people actually do that. Yeah, can I get your name? Ah, uh, your name is Teacher Romel. Okay, sure. I will. Next time I visit your company, I will bring a coffee for you, or I will bring some souvenirs for you. You sure help me a lot. Yeah. It, what will you feel if that will if they will tell you that? Of course, you will feel happy, right? Uh, you you will just simply say oh no need please no worries no it's okay okay thank you so much like that mm -hmm. yeah okay. but if you know this is this can also have a very negative way uh, I, I mean this can also have a very negative uh, uh, meaning for example you did a bad service right you did a bad service over the phone they will say oh what's your name ah my name is Romel ah okay Okay, Romel. Okay, I will remember your name. I will report you to your boss later. <laughs> Very scary, right? So, yeah. So, make sure that, you know, you did a good job so that, uh, so that, so that you know, they will appreciate you instead of putting you into more trouble, right? Okay, okay so there. That's the point. Okay. So yeah, there you go. Do you have questions so far? 
it's okay. Right? Okay, let's take a look at this uh, dialogue here. Now, I want you to write down the missing parts, okay? Okay. Okay, um, yeah. So, first part. Kinga is not here right now. Can I take a message that this is with her husband? Can you ask her to call me? I'm at my office, but it, she needs to call me at the extension number. I, should I write it? Or type? Yeah, it's okay. Type. <laughs> you have the time, it's better. <laughs> Sorry, I typed. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, next one. Okay. Uh, I'd better write this down. Hold on one mm -hmm. moment while I find a pen. Okay. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. My office number is four seven one three zero zero six extension two o four. Let me uh -huh. keep this. Let me repeat that back to. Uh, let me repeat that back to make sure I got it. Yeah. Okay. Mm, four seven one three o o six and the extension two o four. That's right. Uh -huh. I will, I will tell her to call you soon as, as soon as she gets back to the office. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. All right. Good job. So let's take a look now. So I will be Mark, you will be Sam, okay? Okay. Linda is not here right now. Can I take a message? This is a, this is her husband. Can you ask her to call me? I am at my office, but she needs mm -hmm. to call me at, at extension number 204. Oh, I'd better write this down. Hold on a moment while I find a pen. Okay, go ahead. My office number is 471-3006, extension, extension 204. Oh, let me repeat that back to make sure I got it. 471-3006 and extension 204. That's right. I'll tell her to call you as soon as she gets back to the office. Thank you very much. Okay, good job. All right, makes sense. Okay, so let's go now here. So fill in the, the blanks to the following phone message using the words below. So I want you to identify what are these. Date. Mm -hmm. First one, this is? This one is date. Okay, Did so I first one that? is date. Yeah, sure. Okay. First one is date. Okay. May 2, 2003. Next one. Alice White is name. Okay, Alice White is name. Okay, next. Next. So, uh, wants to reschedule meeting. Huh? Uh, to action. Are you sure? <laughs> Message. <laughs> Message. But mm -hmm. I think. Message. Okay, number, yeah, next one is a message. Really? And last one. Please call, we'll call again. Action? 
Okay. Are you sure? <laughs> not, not really sure, but yeah, I will not change my mind. I see. Okay, actually, the third one wants to reschedule a, meet, a meeting. That is really the message. So good job for that. And the action tells you what you should do. Are you going to call the person? Please call. Or are you, are you just going to wait? We'll call again. So what action should you do after you, re you have read the message? So that's the okay. meaning of this one. Okay? Okay. All right. So next one. Okay. I want you to try to arrange these sentences into first to last. So you can put A, B, C, D, E as the last one. Okay? okay. So yeah. Read the statements carefully and you have to follow the flow of the conversation. Okay, so first one, you say, thank you for calling Task Pro. May I help you? And then followed by B, he is not in the office at the moment. Okay, next one. Letter C, if you leave your name and contact number, I'll have Lim call you. Followed by letter D, can you tell me that area code again, please? And letter E, I'll make sure he gets the message. Goodbye. Okay, let's practice. Okay. Thank you for calling this pro. May I help you? Oh, hello. This is Rom. I'm calling for uh, Lab Tech Pharmaceuticals and... I'm looking for your company CEO, Mr. Sam Smith. Is he around? Oh, he is not in the office at the moment. Oh, I see. Too bad. I have to call. I, yeah, I have to talk to him about an important message. Oh, if you can leave your name and contact and contact number, I will have him call you. Oh, sure. That would really help me. Okay. So my name is. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Should I read it? Oh, okay. I will think. I will read and, it. Okay. My name is Rom. Okay. R for Romeo, O for Oscar, M for Mama. And my last name is um, Miller. Should I spell it for you? My last name, yeah. Yeah, can you spell it for me? Thank you. Okay, M for Mama, I for India, L for Lima, another L for Lima, E for Echo, R for Romeo. So my name is Rob Miller, and my contact number is um, 0063, area code 242, and my phone number is... One zero three two zero three zero. That's all. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will make sure he gets the message. Goodbye. Okay. Thank you so much for your help. What's your name again? My name is Yui. <laughs> ah, Yui. Okay, nice name, Yui. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And the, when we meet each other, maybe I can get you some coffee, okay? Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Okay, there. Easy? Difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, easy to understand, but difficult yeah. for me to say. Okay, at least now you, you get the hang of it. You already know the process. <laughs> Yes, so that is how we negotiate with people if they want to leave a message, okay? Okay. Structuring a call. So what do you mean by structuring a call? Structuring a call, mm -hmm. like... Uh, what do you mean by structure? Uh, like a template to make a call and uh, think about what to talk, mm -hmm. what the topic of, of the conversation. So if you say structuring of a call, we are actually talking about plan or a procedure that we have to follow. Okay, so it's a step-by-step -step procedure so that we will be able to organize the call. 
without going without jumping going back and forth to the topic right mm -hmm. have you ever you know have you ever had this experience for example you went out with your friend with your friends to talk about your life for example you are in the coffee shop and you were just you know gossiping mm -hmm. and yeah. your friend your friend will tell you a story like for example you know what one day i went out with my boyfriend Ah, before that, you know what? Before we went out with my boyfriend, we went shopping first uh, the, the yesterday. Ah, and also I was wearing a new shirt. And then after that, okay, going back to the story, I was walking and then after that, we saw Anna. Do you remember Anna? Anna was your classmate, blah, 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 blah. So. Kind of mess. Exactly. The story, yeah, but it happens, right? When you, when you, when you go, when you go with your friends and they tell story, they sometimes put extra details, you know, and it makes the, the purpose of the story very messy. They don't actually get to the point because it's so full of details already. So when you are going to tell a story, just like in a phone call, you should follow a good structure or a good flow. Remove mm -hmm. unnecessary information and just focus on what is important because, you know, time is ticking, time mm -hmm. is money. So yeah. make sure that you will cover everything without, without putting a lot of extra details or maybe removing what is important. So that is the purpose of structuring a, a phone call, okay? So okay. no more, no less, the essentials should be there. That is a phone call. Mm -hmm. So first of all, when you are going to start a phone call, um, for example, you start with the purpose. So you have to say, why are you calling? That's very important. You are, call you are not calling them to talk about their date. You are not calling them to ask for mm -hmm. something. So you are actually calling them to, uh, to, um, to request for something or something important to be discussed, right? So you, you could say, I'm calling about this. Uh, Peter or Jack Ma, my uncle, asked me to call you to organize something. I would like to discuss about my acquisition of your company, Apple Computers Incorporated. We need to organize Amazon because I'm going to buy your company next week. We have to arrange your assets because I'm going to buy your um, express delivery service. So something like that. Okay. So you have to immediately point out what is the main topic or what is your the context of your phone call. Why are you calling? Essentially, why are you calling? You should be able to answer that immediately. Okay, yes. and after that, okay, you have to, of course, follow a good structure. So you have to say, mm -hmm. oh, actually, I have three things that I would like to talk about, or I have three things that I would like to discuss. First, I want to talk about this. Second, I want to talk about that. Finally, this. Oh, and another thing, I want to talk about this as well. So there. So you, you, you have to give them a good agenda so that nothing will be left mm -hmm. out. Okay, so what are we going to talk about? So we are going to talk about our acquisition of your company. So first, I want to discuss about the, the, the board of directors and what's their plan about the employees. Are they going to be removed or are they going to be absorbed in the new company? Another second, we are, I want you to talk about um, rebranding of the company. Do you know what is rebranding? Um, branding like the yeah. logo. The yeah, it can be the logo, it can be the name. You are going to change the name or the logo of the company. We call it rebranding. Okay. And finally, let's talk about money. How much are you offering <laughs> so, to, for us to buy your company? Yeah. So there. Okay. So any, anyway... After that, you have to check. Is that okay with you? Is this a good time to talk about this? Or do you have time right now? We also have to ask, is it okay to talk about these things right now? Or did I caught did I did I catch you in a bad time? You know, because some sometimes maybe we are calling them, but they are actually in the middle of a meeting. Or they're in, in a, an important 
occasion or maybe they are at home so we cannot talk about business matters if the person is already at home right we should respect their personal time as well so we should ask permission especially if the topics are pretty sensitive or very long to talk about you know it might take you an hour to discuss everything so you have to say is this a is this a good time to talk about this okay that is being polite that is courtesy okay we should we should also mention to them that yeah we should make them feel that is this the right time for us to for me to call you is this the right uh, moment to talk about this right uh, yeah right now so there mm -hmm. right and then after that okay after that we have to decide okay then yeah after you talk about everything you say okay then we have to decide about this right then i will i will leave this to you so you're going to handle this okay should i deal with the logistics so there we are now offering some decisions or options for them to follow okay should i should i deal with the logistics what do you mean by logistics logistics is a business term okay logistics uh, talk about you know um assets okay or liabilities that people talk about in the business so if you say logistics we are talking about people facilities or products or supplies you know something something tangible in a company or it can also talk about movement or transport of you know okay. products or delivery of products that's what we mean okay. by logistics okay next one what if you are busy or the person is busy they will say can we deal with that another time i'll have to get back to you about okay or some some people also say this phrase uh, let me um let me put a pin on that so let me put a pin on that me to say let's talk about it next time we are not um yeah we are not uh, allowed to talk about it or maybe we don't have enough time to talk about this so let's put a pin on that you know like this uh you know this this is a pin right okay yeah this this is uh, can you uh -huh. see this yeah this is a pin <laughs> so you know if you i will put a pin on that mean to say okay i will i will post it here yeah and let's talk about it if we have time or let's talk about it in person like for example oh and by the way mr jack ma i saw you uh i saw you in a restaurant with another young girl yesterday uh let me put a pin on that let's talk about it in person so there so something like that okay you don't want to talk about it right now so you can say let me put a pin on that okay so, you know if you want to avoid discussing about certain topics as well you can simply say um let's go back to that on some other time let's can we deal with that in another time or let's let me put a pin on that for now okay and further action what do you mean by further action what are the other things that the, you can offer to do after the phone call or maybe yeah you know after the phone call of course so you can say could you send me an email about our phone call could you arrange uh could you send me an email about this discussion or what we have talked about today could you send me a letter a uh, letter is not used anymore could you send me an email to confirm this at uh, the this uh, deal with you would you please inform your boss would you please inform peter jackson john andrew whatever names you can come up with would you please inform them <laughs> because uh, this is a matter of uh, great importance and final check we always do this okay with a phone call especially if it is business is there anything else is that everything is that all right or another you also ask do you have questions do you have any clarifications is that everything clarification means making things clear is everything okay. clear uh, how to say do, do you have a clarification yeah. 
Um, uh, for that one, you can say, um, do you need any clarifications? Okay. And there. Do you need any clarifications? Yes. Okay, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So telephoning tip, we have a tip here that's very important to consider as well. So it says here that you have to, I'm uh, sorry, <laughs> what happened? Okay, so when you are making a call, you have to plan what to say carefully, okay? So before you are making a call, okay, you have to plan what to say carefully because, again, money, I mean, time is money. Okay. So as much as possible, try to cover everything important before you drop the phone okay. okay all right so let's try to answer this conversation here okay. mm -hmm. okay let's see I'm calling to Okay, blank that I I have received your order by fax. However, we can we need to discuss the payment schedule for your order. Okay. The answer here is to confirm. Is confirm? Yes. Okay. Because you received something. I'm calling because it's already here. You are confirming that you received an item. And then, okay. can blank? Can I blank about this? I don't usually deal with payments, and the person who usually handles them is out to lunch. Can I get back to you about this? Because it's not my job. I don't usually deal with payments. And the person is out to lunch, so he is not here right now. Okay. I see. Would you like to explain the payment options to the person? I, li I think we talk about that when we met here at, in my office. I think you can leave it to me to inform her of the payment options. Okay, when you decided on the options you'd like to use, please call me back. I'll do that. Is there anything else we need to discuss regarding our order? No. Once we, of course, once we organize the payment schedule, everything will be set. There. Okay. Okay? Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. So there you go. Now you know the answers. Okay, so tomorrow, let's continue these other vocabulary exercises. Then we will have transferring information and communication difficulties. All right? So that's all. Do you have other questions? No. None? Okay. So, yeah. Nice to see you today. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Okay? See you tomorrow. Thank All you right. Much. So you're yeah, good night. Bye. Bye.